the Kids Summer Challenge. I am your host, Tyler Tatiato. At least that's what I think it is. It's been mispronounced so many times, I really don't even know anymore. <laughs> and today with me is a special guest, my co-host. And his name is Remington. Yes, Remington Kingsley here, reporting from the sidelines, as Tyler Tater Tata said. And I'd like to thank all my fans for a moment. All of you on my YouTube channels and Twitter, sending me your kind words and well wishes. All three of you have made my life an unbridled joy. You know, it's quite thrilling when you pour out your blood, sweat and tears into what is really your life's work and people recognize it for what it is, the genius, the greatness, which seems to be what's Whoa, 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 whoa. Remington, I'm Remington, sorry. thank Pardon? you so much for, you know, the history lesson on your life, but uh, we should really be focused on the athletes that are here to compete today. Oh, yes, I suppose we should get to our athletes who are lined up behind me preparing for what I'm told is a thrilling competition. So without further delay, kids, your athletes. DJ Crush. Representing the Orange Team is DJ Crush It! Crushing it ever since 1992. This guy is all over the place with his beats and thriller dance moves that's gonna lead his team to victory, at least he hopes so. His strengths, besides being totally awesome, is his beats and his killer dance moves. That's gonna help him during this competition. But he's also got a weakness. If that beat does not drop, he will not stop. And when a certain song comes on, he's gonna be stuck dancing to it for the rest of the day. So uh, hopefully that music doesn't play for DJ Crush if he's gonna wanna win this competition. General Gunny Green. Next up, General Gunny Green, representing Gang Green. Hold, hold up, that can't be right. Uh, at any rate, we have General Gunny Green. Don't worry, young troopers. If you're following this brave warrior, he'll keep you ship shape throughout this competition. His strengths, of course, are camouflage. You never know when this stealthy battler will appear. He reports no weaknesses. But we've dug deep, my friends, and it turns out he has an extreme fear of bubbles, puppies, and those misters that cool you off in the heat. Peter Parkour. Peter Parkour! 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 This man is electric if I've ever seen one before. He jumps from building to building. He jumps off trees. Anything in his path, he will go up it, he will go under it. It doesn't matter. Peter Parkour! Parkour! His strengths, of course, are parkour! Parkour! This guy parkours everything. Whether it's a tree, a bench, it doesn't matter. Peter Parkour is where it's at. However, he does have a few weaknesses. One of them is excessive parkour. You, you just can't resist parkouring things, so that might be distracting for him from time to time in this competition. Will he be able to resist the urge to parkour a tree stump or parkour a person? I don't know. Peter Parkour, you're going to have to resist yourself, my friend, if you're going to be winning this race. Welcome, Red Team. Obi Zanaboni. Representing the blue team is Obi Zanaboni, a Jedi from the desolate Tatooine. His strength, of course, is the Force, so all you young Padawans following Obi Zanaboni should be excited for this competition. It's sure to be thrilling. But beware, his weakness, trust issues. Let's just say, Tyler, that his relationship with his last Padawan ended in a nasty breakup. And something I've noticed that hasn't been included on my sheet, but should be another weakness of the last three films of this franchise. Let's get started, shall we? And speaking of starting points, if I may, Tyler, you know, I was just a wee lad when I first dipped my toe into this reporting biz of ours, but I found I was rather unnatural with my undeniable charisma, my dashing good looks, and of course my rapier wit met Pardon? So, oh, yes, of course, the athletes. We must get to our competition. So, without further ado, athletes, to your marks!
with an unexpected and bold force move. Looks like Peter Parkour has fallen behind Parkour. early. He just can't resist the lure of Parkour. stationary objects. An ugly unexpected obstacle for Orange Team. Oh! He dances around it with poise and grace. Orange Team to your feet. It's time to celebrate your hero with a signature dance move. Thanks to his incredibly high midichlorian count, Obi Zanaboni has a commanding lead. Ooh, looks like he's pulled over to tap into the force. Ooh, rock twist! Didn't see that coming. This? Open up! I'm telling you, soldier! You better open up! Who did that? Not giving up, huh? As you can see, an impossible obstacle. Looks like this competition's come to an abrupt end. Oh well. Whoa, Remington, Remington, hold on, hold on. Well, we don't need to stop the summer challenge just because the gate's locked, which is kind of weird because the gate was open a few minutes ago. Uh, that's the way the contestants are supposed to go, so I'm not sure why it's locked, but this is a perfect time for the kids to get involved. Kids, this is where we need you guys. We need you. Your team needs you. Your character needs you. You need to come to the park on Tuesday, and you need to get the passcode for the gate, and you're going to do that by entering into the challenge. So your team needs you, and whoever gets through the gate first is up to you. You are the one who decides based off of how well you do on Tuesday at the challenge, how well you do collectively as a team so your team needs you come to the park on tuesday with us all the directions are in your box and come on over and have some fun with us but until then remington does that make sense remington does that sound like a good idea to you my friend pardon no oh, all right i suppose we'll see you next week all right that sounds great thanks remington we'll see you guys at the park but until then have a great afternoon and we'll see you for more on the kids summer challenge <laughs> Who's excited for the kids' summer challenge? We are just getting started, my friends. That was the first video, and we have three more to go. And so we're going to find out what happens to our characters. Who gets that early lead? Who rises to the top? Who finishes first? And we just met all of our characters, and I want to give a shout out to each team individually. If you're at home watching this video and you have a team, can you shout out when your team is called? Can you let it be known that you are on the orange team? Who out there is on the orange team? Led by DJ Crush. I think you guys are going to crush it this summer at the Kids Summer Challenge. Team Orange, led by DJ Crush. How about this guy? Peter Parkour. Who's out there on the red team? Who out there just learned a new word? Parkour. You guys will probably be parkouring all summer long. It's Peter Parkour leading the red team. How about shout out for the 
Blue Team. Is anybody out there led by Team Blue, the legendary OB Zanaboni? You might need to brush off your force push or your lightsaber skills led by Team Zanaboni. Yeah, you guys are going to have a great time. Team Jedi. And, and then last, but certainly not least, is led by General Gunny Green. Anybody rooting for the Green Team? Let me hear you. Green team. I think General Gunny Green is going to lead his troops quite well. So you guys might need to get ready to camouflage, sneak attack. I mean, what's going to happen to Team Green? We're going to find out as the weeks go on. Now, if you have a team, if you got a box delivered to you this weekend and you are all signed up, then this is something you got in your box right here. You got one of these, whichever team you were on. And this was so important. I want to take just a second to talk about it. After this video, or if you haven't already, I need you to sit down with mom and dad and you need to go through this packet together and let's just pull out general gunny green since he did make it to the gate first he had a problem with the lock but i think it's gonna work out okay let's find out because in this packet it has all of the information that you need for the upcoming week we're not just doing a video on sunday we need you to participate in fact the way that the characters are going to get through the gate and whoever comes out first is actually dependent upon you. Did you know that? You see, usually we make the video and we decide what happens, who wins, who finishes first. That's not the case in the Kids Summer Challenge. You guys decide who wins and that's explained right here and I want to go over it real quick for this week you can open up your handout you can see even um, right here it explains what's coming up and then on this page right here it shows a passcode and you need to find the passcode so on Tuesday afternoon you can come to the park and you can come in a safe way and you are going to un unlock your passcode we are going to find out what the passcode is and the team that does the best the team that works together maybe has the most participation with your team that's the person who's going to get through the gate in the next video first so if there's a team that's not doing too well maybe he's stuck on the other side of the gate we'll see if red team finishes on top maybe peter parkour just says forget the lock i'm going over parkour hardcore i don't know you guys need to decide you decide by coming on tuesday and you need to find out the passcode now let's go all the way to this page right here this page is also very important for this week because your team needs you. Your team, whoever's going to come out on top, it's so important that you get into it right here with Spirit Week. This will help your team earn points. This will help your team get to the finish line first. Who out there has the most team spirit? Is it the blue team? Is it the Jedis? Is that the team with the most team spirit? Maybe it's team DJ Orange Crush. Are you guys? the team with the most team spirit i mean he's got some pretty serious dance moves and we want to see them okay we want to see how much team spirit you have and so dress up you can go as big as you want you can make signs maybe you can make a lightsaber all you need is a few kyber crystals if you want to make a lightsaber that's all you really need and all you and what we need you to do is take a picture and you can send it to me privately taylor at compasshb.com or you can post it on social media instagram facebook have your mom and dad post it and you need to hashtag it says right here it's got your hashtag compass hb kids and then whatever color you are so for instance if you're on team gunny green general green's team then you need to do compass hb kids green or compass hp kids red or blue whatever team you're on and that way if you click that hashtag you can see all the other kids on your team did you know you're not the only family with that team that there's other families from our church maybe friends that you have that are on your team and so you can get points for spirit this week if you post a picture or send it to me and you can throw out that hashtag and you can also see who's on your team by clicking on that hashtag. And you can find out, you can see all the pictures that have that hashtag. So as the weeks go on, if you're at the park and your parents take a picture, throw the hashtag on there and you can see and you can follow your team along. It'll be so much fun. And then this last page right here, these are for some serious points right here. If you want some serious points, 
If you're at home and you're like, hey, we're not able to make it to the park this week, but you still want to earn points for your team, right here, my friends, is what you need to do. We are memorizing some Bible verses. And not only are we going to have fun and follow our characters, but we are going to get into the Bible together. We're going to open it up and see what God has to say to us. And right here, we are going to be memorizing the passages. So this week, we are memorizing Mark 115. And if you're young, we've got some young kids joining us this year. We've got some two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, all the way up to sixth grade. So if you need some more time, if you can't do it in just a week, that's okay. All right, memorize your verse, do it, and work at it as best you can, but send it to me. You can send it to taylor at compasshb.com, and you can send me uh, that you did it, or you can send me a video that you completed it, and then we will get your team some points. So that's just a few ways to earn points, and each week you're going to get another one, and we're going to find out some more ways that you can earn points. But now, we want to spend some time getting into the Bible, Okay, if you have the Read and Grow Picture Bible, can you find page 208 with me? 208 for the Read and Grow Picture Bible. And if you have a Bible that matches mine, go to page 836. 836. But if your Bible doesn't match mine, but you have one like this, go to Mark chapter 1. Okay, Mark chapter 1. That's the passage we're going to be in today. That's the passage that you're going to memorize at home. But we're going to start with this Bible right here. And here, I just wanted you to get a picture of this. I wanted you to see, this is Jesus at the Sermon on the Mount. This is not what we're reading in Mark 1. But this is Jesus coming and he's teaching. And this is what Jesus did a lot with his time when he was here. He did many miracles and he came sharing this message of salvation. How we can get, how the kingdom of God is coming. And how we need to repent and believe in the gospel, the good news. And so this picture right here, number two here, do you see that? This is a picture of Jesus teaching. This is a picture of one of the days when a big, huge crowd was coming. And Jesus was addressing the crowd and he was telling them, he was teaching them from the law, from the prophets, from the writings. He was telling them about the kingdom of God. And so I just wanted you to get a picture in your mind of what Jesus came here to do. And with that, let's open up to Mark chapter 1 and let's actually read what he said. Now Mark... The Gospel of Mark, Mark is like summary statements. We have four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And Mark is the smallest one of the four Gospels because what Mark is doing when he's writing this is he's basically grabbing like the main idea of what he's saying. Like maybe if you went to a school for a day and your teacher was explaining a whole bunch of things, well, maybe how would you summarize one thing that, like the main thing that they said? What was the most important thing? What was the main thing that they were talking about? Well, that's kind of what Mark does here in the book of Mark, is he's not writing down everything Jesus said. He's just taking kind of the main point of what Jesus said, and he's writing it down for us. And what Mark says right here. Out of all of that Jesus was speaking at, what he was teaching during this time, Mark grabs one main idea. This is what Jesus, the main point, the most important thing, the main thing that Jesus was talking about during, right here, he says in verse 15, can you find Mark 1, 15? Jesus says, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So out of everything Jesus said, what Mark wanted us to know, the main takeaway here, repent and believe in the gospel. And we would define these as the three most important words. And last week, we talked about some important words. Do you remember this? We talked about the word love. And when you say love to your mom and dad, how much you love them, well, that's an important word for us as parents. We love hearing the word love. We love hearing you say that. We also talked about the word help. And if you're in trouble, if, you're, if you need help with something, a good thing to say is help. And if you say help, someone will come and help you. Help is a helpful word. It's a powerful word. It's a word that's important to us. And Jesus comes here and he gives us three words that we need to know. Three very important words. And here they are. Repent, believe, and gospel. That's what Jesus is talking about. That's what Mark is summarizing. Repent, believe, and gospel. Do you know these three words? Do you know them? Have you heard these words before? 
Maybe some of you guys are brand new and you're just checking these videos out and you've never heard these words before. You are in the perfect place because we are gonna talk about these three words. Maybe some of you have been with us for a long time and you've heard these words a lot and we've talked about them, we've explained them. Well, we're gonna dive into them even deeper over the next three weeks as we dive into the Bible here. Gospel, repentance, and faith. What are these words and why is it so important for us to know them? Because if you've ever heard these words, and this is the thing, you guys, is people out there, we're talking about the gospel. People want to know, hey, how do I get eternal life? How do I go to heaven? And if the message is hard to understand, if it's unclear, well, then people won't know it. People won't know how to get eternal life. They won't know how to be with God. They won't know how to be forgiven for their sin if the gospel, if the message is unclear. So to help us understand, let's look at these glasses right here. Can you see the word? This is glass number one. And we've got some water in there that isn't clear. It's hard to see through. Can you see what the message is behind the water? I mean, the water is so unclear. How do I know what to do? How do I know what the message says if I can't see it? Well, now let's reveal the message with some clear water. Check it out. Can you see it now? You see how whatever is the water is, if it's clear or unclear, that determines whether we know it, whether we can do it, is right there. The message has to be clear. I can't see it if it's unclear. I won't know it. I won't understand it if it's unclear. And so we need to dive into these three words. We need to get to them very specifically because it all we it has to be clear to us. We have to be able to understand it. And what's happening is when people talk about the gospel or repentance or faith, it's really unclear many times what we're actually talking about, what the Bible really says. When Jesus says, repent and believe in the gospel, if that's not clear, we're not going to get it. We're not going to understand what Jesus is talking about. And so it's very important that we take the next three weeks to clear it up so that we can understand what these words mean. We don't want to be looking at it through that dirty water. We want to be looking at it through that clear water. We need to know, we need to understand, what does it mean? What is Jesus talking about? And not does what Ta Mr. Taylor say is what matters, or what this person says what matters. What does Jesus actually say? So we're going to get into the Bible, and we're going to see what Jesus says these three words are. And, you know, we're going to dive into them more, but let's just think about this word real quick, gospel. Have you ever heard this word gospel before? The gospel is that Jesus is the, and you guys might know this. If you were here with me, I would have you shout it out. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus died for sins and Jesus rose again. That's the gospel, the good news of Jesus. And we're going to dive into that more and more as the weeks go along. But that's the good news that Jesus came preaching, that he is God, that he dies for sins, and that he rose from the dead. So we're going to dive into that more. But if you have your sheet, what I want you to look at right here is page number four here at the bottom. This is going to have some questions for you. This is going to go along each week with our lesson. And what you can do is you can sit down with mom and dad and you can go over these questions together. They're real simple. There's three of them. You can answer them pretty quickly. And you guys just, what we're trying to do is let's talk about it. Let's talk about these questions together. And so you can sit down with mom and dad and you can go through these together and you can talk about the three most important words, gospel, repentance, and faith. What are these? And we're going to dive into it more. We're going to make it clear for us so that we can understand the three most important words. Let me pray for us as we wrap up. Jesus, we are so grateful that you came on a seek and save mission, that you came with a very specific purpose to share the good news to do the good news, that you are God. You died and you rose from the dead so that we can have new life. And we all need to understand that message with clarity. And so God, the only way that that'll happen is if you open our eyes to understand it. Father, please reveal your goodness to us. Reveal your gospel 
what it means, what repentance means, what faith means. Help us to understand. Reveal it to us so that we can see it with clarity. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so excited that you guys are joining us here on the Kids Summer Challenge. And if you have not signed up yet and you think you missed your window, you haven't. We still have some shirts left. We still have teams that we can put you on. So if you want to be a part of the Kids Summer Challenge, email us at taylor at compasshb.com. We will get you on a team. You can sign up. You can still be a part of a team. We will send you everything you need and we are going to find out and we will, you know what we're going to do is we're going to see you guys on Tuesday. Open up your packet, find your map and come have some fun with us on Tuesday. I will see you guys there.